new releases assemble <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com and in this video we're going to unbox and build uh, the newest releases for Marvel Crisis Protocol. I always say that because they are the newest releases. That's that's always what we unbox here. <laughs> uh, but we've got, uh, we've got the, the Golden Age lineup here I suppose. These are all basically kind of based on like some the OG comic books and uh, OG villains, so to speak. Even though they got kind of got a new a new G flair, so to speak. But uh, unfortunately, Red Skull and the Terrain Tank hasn't come out yet. I don't even know when it's supposed to release. Maybe in October. Either way, these guys are cool. Uh, so we'll take a look at them. So we got Captain America original Human Torch, Baron Stroker. Um, Strucker, which I think is a leader now as well for um, Hydra. I think we officially have a Hydra faction and uh, Ar Arnim Zola and then Nick Fury Sr. in the Howling Commandos. I know what you're thinking. That's probably a grunts, but I don't I don't I don't think that's how the, this Nick Fury works. <laughs> uh, these are all $40 US expansion packs for the models inside. Actually, I'm not sure what this guy is, but if I had to guess, maybe he is $40 because you get three miniatures, but we'll, we'll have to look that up or just forget about it conveniently and uh, not comment about it any further. So let's jump into these and kind of take a look. If you're new to Crisis Protocol or you don't know, you've never seen any, or you're like, hey, you know, maybe I'm, I always hear you talking about this game and you super like it. Well, what do I need to know? Okay, well, first of all, get the starter. Starter's dope. Uh, you're going to need one of those. And they're not that unaffordable. In GW Money, they're basically free. Uh, when you get the stuff, you, there are instructions in those, but in the newer kits, they're going to be a QR code that you have to scan after the release comes out. So I actually won't be able to figure out how to put these together using the actual instructions because this, these aren't alive yet, unfortunately. But uh, no matter, that is okay. Then there's gonna be a character card. Sometimes you get some team tactics cards. Sometimes you get some what they call crisis cards and crisis cards are your missions. And I always have to shred this at the end here. I can never get these open correctly. And then these are your cards. Uh, so this is your healthy side. These, once you get dazed you go to your uh, injured side and then from there you become KO'd or knocked out so to speak so this is the second model for Captain America the first for Human Torch now this is the Android version this isn't Johnny Storm from Fantastic Four but if I had to guess I would say they're probably gonna release Fantastic Four uh, when you know when it syncs up with the movies uh, coming out which we know are on the way so look for those 2023 2024 I forget Either way, so here's uh, two new cards, two new Crisis cards, uh, one for Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos or Steve Rogers. So this uh, this card's actually going to come in the Nick Fury pack as well. Because, you know, it's basically Golden Age, World War II, over the top, the trenches, going going again, them sort of thing. And then this one here is just uh, for Jim Hammond and S.H.I.E.L.D. as well. Um, so S.H.I.E.L.D.'s actually doing pretty well in the meta right now. Um, I think over a 50% win rate. Might, might be higher than that, if, I'm, uh, if I recall correctly. So if you're new to the game, obviously get the starter, uh, pick you out some characters and such that you that you find interesting. Um, just be very patient with the earlier, the very earlier sprues. Uh, they were a little bit more fiddly and harder to get together than this newer stuff here. Which you know, once we zoom in on this, you, you're gonna see, hey, these are pretty wild, like super. I mean, this is three parts. This cap is front back leg head oh this is really detailed i don't know if you can see yeah you can see in the camera look at all the scales on there we didn't see that before like their their engineering and their design has really come a long way since and this looks like a yeah this is a new base new textured base for the smaller 32s um or actually i think these are 35s aren't these 35s yeah let's see we got a space marine right here yeah those are 35s so 32 millimeter fits right inside of it so this is really cool. Um, couldn't tell you how it goes together yet because I haven't put it together and I don't have instructions to show you, but that's okay. And you know what else I might? Oh, yep, okay. So just like with the road kit, you're gonna be able to put this base on another base if you wanna make like a little placard or kind of cover it up to put a magnet in it. And something else you might wanna invest in, and we, we have this over on the site and there'll be links in the description and also in the comments. If you want to magnetize your bases, uh, grab you up a pack of magnets, 3 8 inch, by 1 16th uh, depth magnets from Magnet Baron. Uh, you get a pack of 50 of them. It looks big for the base, but I assure you because it's recessed, 
it's going to be powerful enough to secure your models to the base but make sure that you glue them down very well too because you don't want to pull your model off and then the, the you know base that's magnetized to your steel tray or whatever you have it magnetized to uh, doesn't come off you know that would be a little that'd be a little wild I just did that to my Shiri the other day so I was very sad I did not glue her down good enough uh, her foot to the, uh, to the tactical rock unfortunately so that is the cap let's take a look we won't go over the cards and such for these other ones I did want to show you something really cool with this brown um, uh, Arnhem Zola so a lot more pieces in this one of course but they talked about this in the stream. If you watch the mini extravaganza stream, they were like, oh man, you know, like you can do the different faces. And I thought that was cool. So here's the big uh, robot body sort of thing. You got a cool tactical rock, which by the way, I think in the stream too, they said this was supposed to be the pose from Malkieth and they just re, re kind of uh, scaled it up and, and twisted a couple of things and then made it into him because once they, uh, they actually made Malkieth on <laughs> the uh the the bat dragon or the bat tiger which they weren't planning to do but that's a whole nother story i'll let you watch the mini extravaganza uh, to find out more but i really like watching those guys atomic mass games just talk they're they're really into it and stuff so choice of two different heads here which is really neat and then you put them in this chest cavity boom so you can kind of pick and then look at those pegs right there those pegs look to line up perfectly with the clear bits right here so if i had a guess this is gonna lock in, right? Well, I can't do it because they're still on the sprue. But if I had to guess, I would say what you're gonna wanna do is take some uh, masking tape or painter's tape, something with a low tack. You get some painter's tape right here and you could tape, you know, mask off this area right here um, so that the clear spots show. You could figure out, and you, these might just be interchangeable. So you could paint two different heads and then we'll see if this pops off or doesn't pop off if you can just kind of leave it and then pop it on and pop it off and switch his head out if you if you so desire i don't think you need to magnetize this or anything i don't i don't think you'll have to do any of that but uh but that looks pretty neat and then oh you could use li liquid masking too but maybe you want to make sure it doesn't etch the um uh the your your clear surface here i don't think it will i always use the windsor newton um liquid masking which i don't have handy i actually don't know where mine is so probably time to buy a new one but that has always come highly recommended by a lot of uh, hobbyists out there that i've always watched that did a lot of masking stuff so i would definitely recommend that it's a little pricey but windsor newton's good good quality stuff all right so this is going to go together pretty easy too it looks like his foot just has like a tactical dirt pile tactical moon landing print and front right torso arm on fire head super easy right there i don't I don't anticipate any any issues with that guy. And then Nick Fury Sr., not the juniors, also comes with it. Oh, wow, the base is part, so it doesn't come with any extra bases. Oh, you know what? We need to check something, too. Check and see if... Oh, about to lose an arm right there. I'm going to glue that down so I don't lose it because, you know, as soon as I go to open this, I will explode that arm everywhere and never be able to find it again. Oh, there goes his head too. Jeez, jeez Louise. Be careful when you're opening this guy. I'm just gonna glue it. Okay, there we go. Oh, now I won't lose them. So lots going on here. There's three dudes with their Hydrotech, uh, or I forget what they were. I think they were Hydrotech guns, if I recall correctly, in the data sheet. These look pretty easy to go together too, front and right back, tops, tops of legs, weapons, heads. I don't foresee any issues here, but we'll get them built up momentarily. And as I also don't think there's gonna be a lot to this, I would recommend this Tamiya Super Thin uh, Cement to put these together. I love this stuff right here. You can always refill it, like, because once you get below the brush, I keep, like, I keep an extra bottle right here um, with my extra in it, with my fresh fresh. So I'm always refilling the same bottle. So once I get a little too low here, well, you can't really tell. Once I get too low that the brush won't contact it, I'll just pour in the refill here and uh, make sure I get my money's worth because this thing's like six bucks, uh, which you know could be a little pricey, I suppose, depending on what you value glue at. Um, but that's kind of how I, I do that stuff right there. And there's links to that in the description and also 
in uh, the comments too, so you can get your own off Amazon. They have them at Hobby Lobby. They have them at Hobby Town. Don't know about Michael's or any of the other DIY arts and crafts stores there. But uh, so yeah, let's get these built up and jump right back and show you what we got. Okay, these these are wild. So I really enjoy this guy right here. So he goes together just like I was saying, and you can pop the clear piece off here so you can paint the, the inside here. You don't necessarily have to glue it in um, if you don't want to, but you can. And then you glue this on and you could just use some of that liquid masking, like I said, um, or paint this separately, you know, whatever, or switch them out, it doesn't matter. But, and then it just snaps right in. Very, very cool. It's got the standard size base here. And like I said, you know, you can put those uh, 3 8 by 1 16th inch magnet in there. And then let's see, who comes with him? Oh yeah, Strucker. So here's Strucker. Uh, he looks pretty fresh too. Very, very well detailed with the Hydra symbol up there. And he's got his uh, little uh, bling. Is that bling or is that a, can't tell if that's bling or not. Either way, oh yeah, he's got some bling. He's got some, got some ribbons, got some tassels, doing some things, a little tactical, uh, tactical moon print pile right there very very cool stuff and if you're wondering how big these are next to something like a space marine well that kind of gives you the idea there so they're definitely more of a like a 32 heroic kind of scale than uh what you would expect like they're bigger than like guardsmen or something and if you were comparing them to um uh warhammer 40k or something like that and then here's cap and like i said the detail on this guy is pretty insane it's really neat to see this because they didn't used to have these scales on the one that comes in the starter set. Uh, and I think these were separate bits, which were kind of a pain in the, you know what, uh, but now the whole head is together right there. And this is just a really dynamic pose, just doing some stuff. And then it's, like I said, they, they, you do this texture base and I thought I had a spare base around here, but I guess maybe I packed it up, but this actually will go on top of, like I showed you, um, other base like kind of like rogue so that was really cool to see with her and then or when with him and then here's uh, the original human torch and he is insane like look at all that fire detail there you can paint like going hot remember the tips should be painted black because they are they actually the what is it the hottest or the coolest part and then the, the, the insides are more yellowish um, depending on how you want to paint it but there's a bunch of tutorials and stuff online but that's just the biggest tip you know, if I was gonna paint fire, but this, this is just really cool, classic, almost like um, Mercury kind of posing, you know, stuff we've seen pictures of like the gods and stuff throughout the years. And then you've got uh, Nick Fury Sr. with all their tech and everything. And on a really, really dope, like, you know, crushed Hydra uh, stronghold kind of base. And then same thing with this, got the new style down there. And then this actually will fit on a blank base too. If you want to beef it up a bit, uh, you can, which is really, really neat to see. So, uh, you know, we're almost, we're approaching three years into Marvel Crisis Protocol. Came out in November 2019 and they have really come a long ways. Uh, we've done basically like a card pack rules update, major update change. Um, that cost everybody a whopping 20, 30 bucks, I think, to balance the game and make it right again. Woo! Man, woo, that was a that was a barn burner right there. And uh, their designs have come a long ways, and especially now their bases, they're up in the game when it comes to the bases. So, you know, uh, looking forward to another three years of this game, and we'll kind of see where it goes. But yeah, definitely can't, can't say enough good things about this game. The developers, the creators, the artists, basically everybody at Atomic Mass Games, um, this this worked on crisis protocol um, again, you know mad props to them and their attitude and their work ethic and just they're just bringing this really cool dope like MCU slash 90s kind of feel of Marvel Comics uh, to the tabletop. It's a really, really fun game, so definitely check it out. So that's it for this one. Uh, don't forget you can go get your hobbies for less uh, on Amazon, Dicehead.com, or uh, of course, hopefully, your local game store as well. But before you do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, 
discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep, whether you cancel or stay on. Just it's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybit.